Well, they're scheduled to spend a half an hour swapping weather. This is 10 rounds. I think one of the keys tonight, Daddy, could be that jab to the body. We've seen in recent fights how much more he can get off if he can establish that. And it's the beginning. It's not the end. What I mean by that, yeah, you jab to the body, you get a little contact. But what it's really meant to do is set up later on a shot upstairs. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores. So dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. Not able to land the uppercut. Now he's putting his punches together, the combination upstairs. Unable to make an impact there by Chico. Good looking uppercut that time. And now you see the southpaw pulling the trigger with the straight left. Good looking two punch combo by Chico. Solid left hand to the head. Silk's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Chico's landing a combination here. That's what. That's a massive left hand by Silk. Teddy's trying to punch his way out of this damage he's incurred, but that's not the answer. No, he's in a rainstorm. He needs an And banging away he goes. Every punch landed in that combination, and he goes down hard. One, get on your feet. two. Down he goes, but he's going to continue on, beating the count. Right back to it upstairs. Not able to connect with the uppercut. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Remember earlier, he was on the canvas. Now he's looking down on his opponent. And we thought it was a bad thing earlier for him. It turned out to be a bad thing for his opponent because he got careless here. And there's the bell. He is saved by the bell. Oh, boy, Teddy, he's in a world of hurt now. Only 60 seconds in front of him. And you know what? Less than 60 seconds. It took him five seconds to get him on that stool. So right now, they can't concentrate just on telling him things. And he needs to be told why he got hit. But they got to get ice on him. And they got to right now, they have to revive him. Nice work blocking that, and then an uppercut of his own. Chico's committed to that counter-punching very early on here in this fight, and that can pay off as the night continues. Well, it's paying off right now because you see that his opponent now is getting a little worried about letting his hands go because every time he does, he doesn't find anything, and he finds something coming back at him. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. He gets off with a combination up top. We need to see some more defense. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Silk. Oh, what a left hand. Referee gives him the warning for the headbutt. Silk's gonna get a point deduction here for that clash of heads. The referee now feels that it's purposeful what he's doing, and he's deducting a point. Straight right was lined up, but he missed. A little something of his own. Blocks a shot, brings back the uppercut. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Big, big shot comes crashing home. Once again, he goes down. Can he survive this?
I give him a lot of credit for even getting up from that knockdown, but he still has to impress and move forward here. The Eye of Florida might give him credit, but I also recognize that he's in good shape. That's one of the reasons he got up. End of the round. A round in which a knockdown was scored. Now, Teddy, if you're the trainer in the corner of the guy scoring the knockdown, what are some of the things you want to remind him of? You want to remind him how he got there because a lot of times it's a tendency to just remember the punch that put him there. He dressed him up. He set that punch up. Don't think about just the punch that landed. Think about the setup punches. Start of the round, but Teddy, it could be the end of the fight. He's been knocked down numerous times, including the last round. You're probably right, Joe, but when things are darkest is when you find out what is special inside somebody, where they can go to a place you never expected to be able to go to. Look at Archie Moore, Yvonne Durrell, years ago. Archie Moore was over 40 years old, in there with a 20-something-year-old Durrell. He was on the floor three times in the first round. He found a way to come back and knock him out in the 11th. This is another one of those nights. A crushing two-punch combo by Silk. Chico's punch didn't come close. Good solid right hand by Silk. Fires off the hook. Look at that. Chico's fully committed to utilizing the jab. And I think it's working out well for him early on. Well, it is. It's kind of like, you know, sending static out there. You, you want to scramble somebody's radio signal. You know, that's what the jab does. It scrambles your radio signal, or at least in boxing terms, it throws the other guy's rhythm off. He needs to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by Silk. Double jab there by G Chico's in a tough spot right now. Boy, he got rocked. Big shot. Well, we know he survived earlier, but now he goes down for a second time. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. And he stays downstairs. Silk's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Solid right by Silk. And that's the end of round three. You gotta breathe, you got to breathe. Alright, how you feeling out there? You know you're not winning this fight. putting on a show for the fans in this fight so far, but it's not the kind of show that his corner wants to see. Yes, he's up two rounds to one according to your scorecard as we start round number four, but considering the fact that they've already traded knockdowns, anything can happen from here on out. Yeah, but if I'm in the corner, I'm taking a negative, a possible negative, I'm turning it into a positive. I'm gonna tell him, hey, look, you've been down now, don't let it happen again. You know what his strengths are, don't play into them. How do you break out of this, Teddy? How do you break out of this mode where you're just thinking defense because you got hurt earlier in the fight? Well, a good corner. First of all, a corner guy has to tell him, hey, look, are you just trying to survive right here? Because if that's what you're going to do, okay, you may survive, or he may just step it up where you don't even have a chance to survive later. But if you want to win this fight, you have to get a hold of yourself, you have to listen to me, and you have to find a way to create offense again. Halfway through round number four. Chico's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. 
Scored well with that straight left. Silk's combination punching is working well here. Threw the straight right hand, but didn't score with it. by Silk. That is my favorite punch there is. A forceful uppercut by Silk. Able to block and counter back. Yeah, Silk's missing the mark by a mile. That wow! That was a big shot that scored him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. Hi. is unable to continue. This fight is over. Knockout. I like the way he finished things tonight, Teddy. Chico's your winner by knockout in a fight that he controlled throughout. Well,